I bought a one-way ticket to Asia. My budget is limited and I will finance my trip with my earnings from YouTube only. I don't know when and if I will be back. First of all, I want to explore Bangkok for around a week, trying to experience it both as a tourist and a local. I plan to hang out with people from the city, but also visit the temples and other popular sites. This way I can get a rough idea of whether I like the city and would consider living there or returning for a longer period of time. Bangkok is my first stop. It's my second time there. To get there I took a train from my city in Italy, Trieste, to Venice, then a bus to Venice airport. I had to take two flights, the first one to Zurich, it was only one hour long, the second one to Bangkok, that took around 12 hours. With the waiting times at the airports, the whole trip from my city to Bangkok took around 20 hours. Day 1 After landing in Bangkok, I took the sky train from the airport to get to the city center, then a bus to get to the hotel. I met a friend I got to know six years ago, when I was in Bangkok for the first time. Her name is Drink, like a drink. I asked her and some of her friends some questions about living in Bangkok. What are you studying? Communication for tourism. Media design, communication design. But my major was about tourism. And how do you move around? In Bangkok have a motorbike station. It's kind of like a taxi but for motorbikes. Yes, yes, okay, yes. yes. A motorbike is can six back and fast more than a car. And sometimes I use a metro. MRT. Sometimes I use both. Motorcycle mm. or use the app. It's called Grab. Sometimes I drive a car. Do you use the Grab app? Yeah. In the Grab have many things. You can use the messenger, rider, oh. transfer, food delivery. How do most of people who live here move around? I think they how? use BTS mostly. BTS. If I use use a car, I have to take two hours. Uh, because, because they're the traffic. Them. Yes. Okay. Went for a walk. Visited Chinatown. In the meanwhile, I bought a SIM card to have unlimited internet for one month. Met a new friend, then another one, and then another one. Ate rice, and a little walk before going to sleep. Day 2. Today I woke up forgetting I was in Thailand. I went out for a walk, I took a bus, looked out of the window, went in Siam Square, waited for a friend to come, I had a ramen with truffle and a black tea honey lemon. It was so good! What is like the typical dish that someone from Bangkok or someone in Thailand eats usually? Khao Phat Gra Pao Oh, Khao Phat Gra Pao Yes, a little bit spicy Tung Yum Kung Gang Kyo Wan Green curry or Khao Phu Kapi But I like Pad Hai We did a photo boot We walked around the mall But I forgot to film We went for a walk We met her friends to have dinner together. Then we went to a bar. Saw some people having fun. And we took a picture, came back to the hotel and went to sleep. Day 3. Today I woke up realizing I'm in Bangkok and not in Italy. I explored the city a bit. Met a new friend. Didn't know where to go, but then I remembered. What are your favorite places here in Bangkok? Benta Kitti Park. Benta Kitti, very peaceful. I don't like the place that have a lot of people to go. On. Went to Benja Kitti Park and met Drink there. We had dinner together in a mall, Terminal 21. We went to Soy Cowboy. A small street with bars and nice lights. Once again I woke up in Bangkok. I went out and met a few new friends. I ate pad thai, spring rolls and drank a juice. I got lost, but an elephant told me to go straight ahead. Finally arrived at the university. To do some parts of the interviews you are seeing. Drink her friends and I went around Bangkok. Had dinner, had a dessert, went to their place to play Uno. I thought Uno existed only in Italy. I was wrong. Today I woke up and a friend arrived at the hotel. Then my bro Falco arrived as well. Falco didn't know about my other friend, so he was surprised. We went around Bangkok, saw some temples and Buddhas. 
I found a bar and I wanted to see if I can still do muscle ups. Filmed some dinosaurs at the Lumpini Park. Filmed more dinosaurs at Lumpini Park. Filmed a cat at Lumpini Park. Filmed a person sleeping close to Lumpini Park. Went from Lumpini to Benchakiti Park. The route was very nice, so I had to stop and think about life. We met a new friend. Went around a little bit, forgot to film, went to sleep. Today I woke up realizing we had to visit the Grand Palace in Bangkok. Then we went out, had coconut, and we went to the street food market on the other side of the river. Bought some food, tried some food. It was good. We almost fell off the boat. Be careful! so dangerous! Met new friends. Went to a rooftop to have dinner there with a nice view. Saw a crocodile, bugs. More bugs. Ate some bugs. This is good. Yeah. This is like, good, a snack, right? like yeah. a popcorn. And went to sleep. Do you know what is the average cost of living here? Some apartment is 5,000 to maximum or oh, 16,000 oh. per month. 7,000 to 9,000 mm -hmm. per month. But if okay. you live like like here, yeah. you took 20,000 oh. per month. If you live in house, yeah. it might be cheaper than you living in an apartment. And what about like everything together? Apartment plus food plus bills. Per yeah, per month. 30,000. Today I woke up and I didn't know what happened. So I went for a walk. Then I saw two old ladies and an elephant. So I realized I'm in Bangkok. Met two more friends. Went to the Golden Mountain. Enjoyed the view from the top of the temple. Visited some other temples. Met another friend. So a big Buddha. Went to Union Mall to dance a little bit. So different dance styles there. I tried some air flares. I can still do them. Met the strongest b-boy in Thailand. 30 nuke. Then we went to a night market and bought some food. Filmed some videos, played some games. When I went back to the hotel I noticed you have to let monks sit in the metro and went to sleep. What do you like the most about living in Bangkok? The good things of living here is very convenient to go anywhere. You have to be prepared for that, you have to be planned before you go out. Uh -huh. But you can have a lot of activity to do in here. And about the education is have more choice for mm. people to study. The mm -hmm. people in Bangkok, they have a variety of people because a lot of people from a lot of provinces that yeah. came here to work to study, like me, how they tell about this story. You can make friends from that. But I think a lot of people in Thailand, they all are friendly. They like to welcome people, no matter you are foreigner or not. The most in Bangkok that I like is food because in Bangkok have many style of food, many style of restaurant. Mm -hmm. I can find every food from another country in yeah. Bangkok and the list in Bangkok that I don't like so much is traffic and transportation because it's so hard to go to another place. We have to spend money so much for transportation but it's still not easy to go. Today I woke up to visit more temples in Bangkok. We went to Wat Arun. Explore the city a bit more. We got lost in Chinatown. And went to the highest viewpoint in Bangkok. It's 314 meters tall. Then I went to sleep.
What are your goals and dreams here? I would like to open my cafe or restaurant or hotel or resort, but not in Bangkok. <laughs> oh, why not in Bangkok? I don't like Bangkok. <laughs> why? Bangkok is so busy and so... Oh. Uh, would you like a smaller city? Yeah, I would like a smaller city and natural more than uh, in Bangkok. Here in Thailand or in another country? First, maybe in Thailand. Mm -hmm. But if I have train to offer to another country, I will go to open mm -hmm. at another country. I like to live in here as to do work, but I really like the feel that I live in my hometown. Home is home, you know how it feels, right? But I also want a new experiment to live abroad too, because mm -hmm. I didn't go abroad that much, and I don't know how different it is. Do you know what you want to do in the future? Maybe an restaurant owner. Maybe? Open your own restaurant. Yes, I will open a restaurant in Bangkok. Maybe in Chinatown, because it's the most Tourists okay. here. So you want to stay here in Bangkok, right? Yes. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Today I woke up knowing it's my last day in Bangkok. So I washed my clothes, went to a photo booth, took some pictures of the pictures, took some videos, met Gamma Bunta, went to a supermarket, went to a manga store trying to not buy any manga. It was so hard. Went to Siam Square, tried to do some flares. I can still do them. Had dinner, had a tomato ice cream. I didn't love it. Met my master. Went for a walk. Filmed an interview. Ate some snacks and said goodbye. Went to the airport. Leaving Bangkok left me with a bittersweet feeling. I truly enjoyed the time I spent there. And I felt that one week wasn't enough. I want to come back, explore more, visit the places I missed, and maybe even consider staying there longer, to gain a better understanding of what living here is truly like. It's time now to explore the country more. But there's a catch. AI will tell me where to go and what to do. 